team's performance today? It's a it's a tough one because we've come up at the end of the game saying, do you know what? We'll we'll take a draw at the end of the game. Um, could have been five all. We've created a lot of chances in the first half. Like Liam's had a good chance. Clayton's had a good chance. At the end, we thought we could have nicked one, but. I think in the grand scheme of things, when you look back, I think a draw is a fair result because they've also created quite a few problems for us down the down the hour end as well. So looking back, I think we'll we'll take a point at the end of the game. With, with the team being so strong defensively this season, did it surprise you how Afton created so much? Yeah, and that, that's what we've just been talking about. To be fair, you, you can't fault the lads up to this point in the season and only conceding six, seven goals. It's a phenomenal record, um, which is why it was surprising for us. Um, Maybe last week in the trophy, we've told them to go go at them, go at Barwell, let's stay high, wide, make the pitch as big as we can. This week, we've probably carried on in a similar vein, but we needed to shore it up a little bit, especially when they, when we lost possession and, and um, after and we got on the ball. Something that the lads took on, to be fair. Second half, I just thought, maybe we want to have as much quality on the ball. We've just discussed that in there then. Like we're good players, good footballers in that, in that team, in that dressing room. But for some reason, we didn't really keep the ball as well as we could in the second half and didn't maybe didn't create as many opportunities as we could have as well. Uh, he says a lot about the character of the team though, to concede early and then still bounce back. That's another thing we said, yeah, especially when you look at the average age of the team. You are talking about young lads, especially at half time we was having a discussion. We need to be able to manage games better. But when you look at the age of them, it's difficult to do sometimes. It takes a bit before people can manage games like that. Like Bish, 30, like obviously 41. But he, when he come onto the pitch, that was going to be his role. Shore it up, get management into the game and, and get the lads around um, wherever we could. But like you say, as soon as Bish gets injured, another injury, it's one of them that we've got to deal with. And, and you're asking young lads to manage the game, which, look, it'll come. It'll come in good time, but maybe asking a little bit for it to be to be straight away. It was very unlucky to get two centre-halves go off injured in the first half. How are they both? Um, struggling a little bit, to be fair. Um, Rice has obviously overstretched his front groin, so again, that's that's not looking good in the near term. And, and Bish has done his medial, so that's looking that's not looking good at all. So Bish will be the longer term, but hopefully Rice's won't be too bad. With the games we've got coming up, they can fast Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. We need him back sooner rather than later. Uh, and one man who, again, uses all experiences, uh, Clayton Donaldson, two, another good two goals. I thought he was magnificent today. I thought it was outstanding. Um, even his hold-up play for us. I mean, we was trying to get into the referee all game. I mean, their their big centre half, their big centre forward, sorry, seemed to be getting away with there, They're backing in and sent every time our centre half come through the back, he got a free, they got a free kick. Clayton didn't get any today. Didn't get anything, but he kept going, kept getting down the sides of him, kept causing them problems, and he's took his two goals well. Obviously, one's a penalty, but the header for the second goal is, is a great header. How does he feel when he's having games where you feel like he's not getting anything? Um, it's a tough one really because he's he's old enough to know how football works now. He's been around the game for that long. I mean, if anything, he loves playing with his younger players because they're his legs at times. He's, we've asked him to box clever. We don't want him here, there and everywhere. We want him where he's going to cause damage to teams. Get him in the penalty area, get him in and around there and let's create those chances for him. So he knows referees can be good, can be bad. To be fair, I prepared him for it anyway because in the warm-up I was doing the, the refereeing for the possession and I gave him nothing. So he knew what was coming for the game. I've tried to get him ready for it. But yeah, he just he plugs away, keeps plugging away and he can't get frustrated. You know you're going to get games like that with a referee. Uh, and you mentioned how thick and fast the day, games are coming. Mask on Tuesday, they don't get much trickier than that, do they? No, I mean, it's that's the league for you. You only have to look at the next three, four weeks, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. That's a big shift in the season, that, hopefully. I know we've got a couple of home games, but if we can pick up some points on travels as well, to be fair to the lads, seem to have done better away from home at recent, like going to, to Warrington and getting a 2-0 result, that's a great result up there. Obviously go to Mask, it's, it's something where you might think, you know what, we can maybe go and be a bit more defensive, maybe counter-attack, maybe sit in and make sure that we don't concede as many goals. But yeah, another, another game that we'll be looking forward to on Tuesday night. And you mentioned all these home games, another really good attendance today and they create a really good atmosphere, don't they, the Trinity fans? Do you know what? They really do because even when we was up against it, like you go a goal down and you think, oh, are they going to turn and we're going to start to hear the, the, like the jeers and a, a few of the like sighs and groans when, when things don't go your way, but the, that didn't come. That never happened and, and obviously the boys really appreciate it out there because everything that we can get from the crowd is obviously going to benefit us and, and help us towards getting the three points that we want, but at the end of the day we'll take a point today. Okay, thank you. All right, no.